Howdy there, folks. The main man again, Lucky Lance, leader of Last Best Hope, I guess, a default leader. Uh, here to bring you another exciting video of me opening up random Yu-Gi-Oh product. Yeah, I'm back. I'm excited. Well, you guys saw the last video, I hope. Relentless Revenge was anything but relentless. Uh, but you know what needs to get this party started? Are you ready for this? I know I am. Oh, yeah. Beer just went flying everywhere. Man, that was a good crack. Uh, I'll tell you what. That shit went everywhere. It's all over the floor. It's all over me. That's what she said, right? Went everywhere. It's just foam, you know what I'm saying? It's just foam. It's not like actual beer beer. You know, I've been cracking open beer since I was like three years old. Not that I've been like drinking beer since I was three, but... Like what I mean is like my dad and his brothers, my uncle, uncles, and their buddies, they'd all get around when I was three years old and they'd, they'd make me walk around between all of them crack open their beers for them, you know. They thought it was really cute and fun, so that's how I've gotten into beer opening. Little did I know that later in my life I'd love this stuff. That's pretty good quality beer. Old rain, yeah. You know, I, I mean, I'll admit that I, I got a few sips in here and there. I didn't drink a whole damn can when I was three years old. You know, you just crack the beer open and you sip it a little bit. They thought that was cute, too. It just comes with the territory. If I was going around lighting everybody's cigarettes when I was three years old, I'd get a puff or two. You know, I, I, I mean, I wasn't, like, getting drunk at three. They, they'd take it away. They're, hey, hey, hey you know, that's my beer. Like, well, not one, for my safety, and two, it's their beer. You know, you don't share beer with anybody. I've never seen that before, actually. A man drink some beer and hand the beer to his buddy. I've actually never seen that before. I'm trying to think if I've seen that in a movie, and I may have, but I don't remember. Ugh. It's not as warm today as it was in the last video I filmed. It's cooled down significantly, but it's still warm, but not, like, unbearably warm. Well, I got a sponsor I think y'all really are going to enjoy. I know I enjoy this sponsor. Gave me $25. Thank you very much to help pay with the packs, the lighting, the mortgage, the beer, whatever. I mean, $25. And, folks, let me ask you. When you head into Walmart, what's something you really enjoy? What's the first thing you really enjoy when you get into that Walmart? If you're Peter Strzok, apparently the smell of Trump supporters, which I guess... The whole town and area of Ravensdale, Claw, Cumberland smells that way. But no. And now when you first go in there, you get greeted. You have that old man the best, this little name tag, and he's like, Hey, welcome to Walmart. Enjoy shopping. You just you feel welcome. You're like, wow. No other store does that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't go to like Kroger or something. Nobody there at the door saying, hey, get your stuff, uh, have a good time getting it, and, you know, uh, welcome. Nobody does that. I feel welcome at Walmart. This is a genius idea. So, why does it have to stop there when you leave the store? When you leave the store, you know, I always set off their alarms, so I'm usually taking out Yu-Gi-Oh! blister packs, and I always sets off their alarms. But, you know, they say, have a good day, sir. Enjoy your products that you bought here, whatever it may be. Hamburger helper... Whatever. Now, I love hamburger help. Only y'all know right now. I eat hamburger help almost every day. My girlfriend cooks it up and it is delicious. Probably not too nutritious, but it's better than just me eating straight up like, you know, Snickers bars, like a whole case of Snickers bars. Sounds pretty good right now. Whole case of Snickers. I'd be all up in that. But no! When you leave and get in the parking lot of Walmart, this is the post greeters. You have your greeters, and once you're done with your shopping at Walmart, you have the post greeters. They'll be out in, your, in the parking lot, and when you're loading up your supplies in your car, they'll come up to you and be like, did you find everything all right? What are you doing later today? Have you got any plans today? And you can talk to them, and it's really great. It's led by Lionel Curry, like Steph Curry for the Golden State Warriors, no relation. They don't look anything alike. Don't worry about that, folks. It has nothing to do with Steph Curry. And he is really an entrepreneur, 
and this is free. It's it is like just a service him and his fellow churchgoers. They're all from church, so when they get done doing their gospel, they come on down to Walmart, make sure everyone's doing all right, and uh, they assist. And I can tell you, I've I've left Walmart a little down. I'm leaving Walmart, and I'm like, eh, you know. Now I got these post readers to look forward to. Now they ask me how I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do tonight. If I'm gonna have something good to eat. If I'm gonna sleep good. If I got any plans for the weekend. It just makes you feel more important in society. And you can talk to them about just about anything. You know, you can talk to them about sports. Talk to them about work. Talk to them about Jesus. Talk to them about, you know, weather. Uh, a little bit of politics. They try not to get into politics because it's sensitive. Uh, there's some things you probably don't want to talk to them about. You know, I mean, obviously, illegal activity is probably not a smart idea. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, whenever I go out there and Lionel and his buddies are out there, his assistants, I should say, they don't know what to make of the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. They don't even know what it is, man. And you probably shouldn't talk about Gears of War either because they don't know what Gears of War is either. Does anybody know what Gears of War is anymore? I mean, seriously. I, didn't they just have a game come out? I don't play video games hardly at all anymore. I just play Street Fighter. So I, I just don't know what's going on in the world of video games. It has to be like a fighting game that's major, major popular for me to notice it. So I think a Gears of War 4 came out like a year or two ago. But I'm not really sure. I remember when Gears of War was the shit. Like Gears of War 1 and 2. I thought Gears of War 2 was my favorite. I think that was the best one. You go into the hollow or whatever they call it and go take out the locust where they live. That was pretty damn fun. Remember all the boomers they created? In the first Gears of War, there's just boomers. They're like, boom. And then they made the chef ones where they're like, hunger. And they made the charging one with the big shield, and he's like, charge. And they made the one with the minigun, the grinder, he's like, grind. And then there was the flamethrower one, burn. And then, uh, I want to say there's one more. I'm probably messing up, but no, there was. It was in the third one. Gears of War 3, they had the Digger Boomer, and he was like, dig. So, Boomers really multiplied by, like, an amazing amount in Gears of War 2. Like, they took the Boomer, and they were like, fuck, this is awesome. Let's make it crazy cool. Just like Brutes from Halo 2 to 3, but I love Brutes. Part of the reason Halo 3 got ruined, I mean, Halo 4 and stuff after Halo 3, no Brutes. Sucks. All right, that's my sponsor, Post Readers. Nothing to do with Halo. Now the Yu-Gi-Oh product. Today, it's going to be a fun day because i got a good mishmash of classic packs. You all love the classic packs. I know I do. And uh, it's always fun to open them up and go down memory lane. And let's go through what I got here. I got, this is not a classic pack, but it will be technically uh, next week. Uh, or two weeks from now, maybe. I got three packs of Flames of Destruction. It's the newest set. I always throw in the newest cards just because to keep the modern players interested. A lot of players don't give a damn about cards that are more than a year old. They just don't. They don't. I mean, you go to the locals and you talk to somebody about, like, a card from fucking Invasion Vengeance. They don't even know what it is. It's like, dude, that's only, like, a year ago. Okay, I don't know. And then I got, uh, what do I got here? Uh, I got four packs of Circuit Break. I always want to call it Circuit Breaker, but it's just Circuit Break. Uh, I'd really love to get a Borload out of this. My god, that would be awesome. What a great pull of Borload. What's the best card on the Flames of Destruction? Infinite Impermanence. I always forget that. I don't know why. I think it's because I got three Infinite Impermanence in like a week. So it never really seemed like a hard card for me to get. And then I got three packs of Rise of Destiny. I remember buying these back in the day. The guy, these, these were like, you know, this is like 2000. Eight, nine, when I bought these, and they were like six bucks a piece. And I don't know what Rise of Destiny goes for anymore. You know, it's Rise of Destiny. I mean, there's really not too great. I'd love to get an Ultimate Creator. That'd be awesome. Then what do I got here? I got uh, two packs of Pharaonic Guardian. Uh, the Gravekeepers make their debut. I'd love to get Ring of Destruction out of this or Lava Golem. That'd be really awesome. I don't know which one I'd like more. These are first edition, of course, by the way. Just letting everyone know, first edition. For USA and Canada, that's the one you know. That's the one you want. Um, but yeah, I, I think I'd like Lava Golem more. And then I got one pack. This is an oddball pack here. World Championship 2010. Got a hold of this. Found this in one of my boxes. Uh, I'm going to open this up. How many cards? Two cards per pack? That would be interesting to open. One Labyrinth of Nightmare. We're really getting classic here. One Labyrinth of Nightmare. Uh, what's the best card I want out of this? 
Magic Cylinder, Gemini Elf. I always like going for the secrets. Uh, Destiny Board be cool. Uh, Mask Restrict, what am I thinking? The Cover Monster. This is an interesting card. I think this one and Legacy of Darkness are the only sets to ever not have a monster as the cover card. This has Mask Restrict as the cover. Uh, one pack of Magic Ruler. There's so many good cards in this. I want Mystical Space Typhoon, Delinquent Duo, uh, Relinquished, uh, Toon World. I mean, there's uh, so many good cards in this. The, the one I always go for is MST. I love MST, the original print. Doesn't target. Original MST does not target. Targeting was not a thing until many years later. One pack of first edition Metal Raiders. That Magic Ruler was first edition. Everybody should know these things are first edition. Uh, so many good cards. It might be my favorite set of all time. I want the Toon, uh, not Toon, Jesus. Um, Red Eyes Black Skull Dragon, uh, 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 Gate Guardian. Um, just about any of that should be good. Summon Skull, I mean, we're talking about good-ass stuff. And then not one, but two packs of first edition Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon, the original pack. Really excited to open these. Uh, what do these go for these days? About 100 bucks a piece? I'm just throwing away money at this point, just opening these up, hoping there's a Dark Magician or a Blue Eyes White Dragon or an Exodia Head. Monster Reborn be a good one. Fuck anything, any foil out of any of these packs. If I can get one fucking foil besides the new packs, that'll be insane. So anyways, guys, that's what, about 18 packs there, I think? Just going over in my head what I was doing there. 18 packs. Uh, really hoping to get something good. Hope you're all excited for this. I know I am. I'm really stoked. And you know what we got to do? We got to make sure we stay cool. Okay? Make sure we stay cool. And uh, make sure we stay focused. This is the time of year where you are attacked for not being focused. When hell breaks loose, they'll come after you first. Because you'll be slow and lethargic. All right, head over yonder. Open up them packs. Hope I get something hella good. Make this all worthwhile. And you know what else we got to do? We got to get drunk! Oh, it's going in here. It's time. More beer. Random ass classic and slightly new packs. Uh, infinite Impermanence. Come on. Really excited to see what I can pull out of all these. Um, Monster Reborn Reborn. People are hyped for this card for no reason. Crystal Keeper, Element Saber, Lapolia, and Revendred Executor. Uh, the Revendred Link Monster just got shown today. No effect on it yet. They're keeping that from us. Altergeist Pixiel, Cybersal Cyclone, and Crystal Master. Oh, I got Crystal Keeper. Like, didn't I get two of that? That's right, Crystal Beast, folks. It's in Flames of Destruction. Ugh. Mamaki. Mama Mac. Yeah, I heard this card's all right coming up. Target one face-up monster. One controls this card. Cards equal that monster's level. If you do, draw the same number of cards you discard, then return that monster to the hand. Whoa, that's really good in danger. I might want to keep this in a, a safe place. I'm going to say Ramalo, Restoration of the Monarchs. Does that cost? No, it's not. Targeting's cost. Restoration of the Monarchs. Goki Octo Stretch. Oh, Nightmare Goblin. There we go. Ultra Rare. Goki Face Turn, Goki Bear Hug, all their guys at Multi Leaf, and World Legacies and Nightmare. All right, Nightmare Goblin. There we go, man. This I pulled it so much. Is that a donut? No, it's not a donut. False alarm, not a donut. All right, two monsters with different names. If this card is linked summon during your turn, you can discard one card. If this card was co-linked when this card effect was activated, you can draw one card. Also, during your main phase this turn, you can normal summon one monster from your hand to your zone. This card points to, in addition to your normal summon or set. You can apply this effect to Nightmare Goblin once per turn. Either way, you can target co-linked monsters you control with card effects. I've done nasty plays with Nightmare Goblin trick stars. Like Normal Candina, search for Candina. Normal Candina, search for something else. Pretty good. All right, last pack of Flames of Destruction. Give me the infinite impermanence. Call by the Grave. Really, really good combo. Mama Key. Ellen Saber Malo. Restoration of the Monarchs. Phosphorage, the Elemental Lord. And Revendred Executor. Out of three packs, I get two of those. Limit Code. Boy Cotton. Altergeist Pixel. Look at how scary that is. Poor animal. Going to get sheared. 
All right, circuit break. Got four packs of this. Come on, Borload. Boral Sword is coming out. Will he overtake Borlo Dragon? That is the question. Um, I want to know. I think Borlo Load is still better, but maybe I'll get proved wrong. Whip Crosser, Crawler Galile, X Crawler Stenophis, Gateway Dragon, a card that's better than people think. One time pass code. If a Pit Stop, Capacitor Stalker, and Soldier Dragons. Alright. Still going on here. It's kind of like warm ups. You know, where you get to the classic packs, you got these newer age packs. Crawler Spine, FA Off Road Grand Prix, Link Infra Flyer, X Crawler. Oh, that's the Super. <laughs> X Crawler, Quali Lark, and Fire King Avatar Arvarda. It's not a bad card, actually. I like the new Fire King, the Pink Elephant. You guys, ever been to Pink Elephant Car Wash? That's where I uh, always vacuum up my car. Since I live in the middle of the goddamn woods, uh, my car is constantly full of pine needles, and so is my house. <clears throat> Reaching for the beer is painful today. I, like, messed up my arm cleaning out some of my closets. And I don't know why, but it messed up my arm pretty bad. It's getting a lot better, but yesterday it was terrible. And it's Rocket Dragon, Duck Dummy, Accumulator. Another Gateway Dragon, Metaphys Didalus. Uh, Ling Ling, Soldier Dragons, Capacitor Stalker, and Crawler Dendrite. All right, last pack of Circuit Break. Come on, give me a secret rare. I demand one. Is an Inspector Border in this set? Recital of Starling, Goki Headbat, Amazon's Pet Liger, and Magna Rocket Dragon. There's a Worthless Ultra, but an Ultra nonetheless. Trickstar Narcissus was just reprinted for no reason. Uh, Muscle Medic, Crawler Receptor, and Lunalite Kaleido Chick. All right, let's read this Magna Rocket Dragon. Man, they all look cool, but they're all fucking terrible. When a Link Monster effect is activated, the targets this card, this face-up card on the field. Quick effect, you can destroy this card and send one monster on the field to the graveyard. During the end phase, this card is in the graveyard because it was destroyed on the field by battle or card effect and sent there this turn. You can send someone one rocket monster from your deck, except Magna Rocket Dragon. You can only use each effect of Magna Rocket Dragon once per turn. Ass! Just terrible. Like, fuck. How dare it eat an Ultra. Alright, three packs of Rise of Destiny. First edition. I don't know if they ever made an unlimited Rise of Destiny. Here we go. Classic packs, ahoy. Trying for that creator. Nightmare Penguin, nice. Classic. Homoculus, Ultimate Beans, Spell Purification, Mighty Guard, Serial Spell. This is the one that you only make when... Discard all the cards in your hand. Huh. Weird ass card. Uh, got like food or something stuck on that. That's weird. Ballista, Rampart, Smashing, Pitch Black, Warwolf. Good card. Fruits of Kozaki Study and Harpy Lady 1. Why is there food in the middle of the pack? What the fuck? Nasty. Food stored for over 10 years. For the, the fallout, the nuclear fallout. Not the game. Raging Flame Sprite. Zing Zin Hu, which, believe it or not, I think I've mentioned this before, I played against this card a lot. There was a guy on my locals for years and years that always had this in his deck. He always ran this card. It's like a Trickstar uh, Light Stage. Uh, I mean, it's really good. It's like better because it targets too, but, but it doesn't send him to grave at the end phase. Rock from the Valley of Haze, Lighten the Load, Fusler Dragon, Dual Beast Mode. This card can be normal, summoned, or set without tribute. In that case, the original attack of this card becomes halved. It's not a bad card. I, I never was, uh, like, super down on it. Ooh, Dark World, right? Yep, yep. Yep, here we go. The new form of Ignatic, Ignomatic, and Pachi remodeled by cutting-edge Dark World technologies before Dark Worlds existed. Bokochi, Heavy Mech Support, and Astral Barrier. This is before Astral even showed up. You know what I'm saying? This is way before Astral. It looks just like Astral. They must have gotten the... Well, obviously, the Japanese think of Astral is different than we do. All right, last pack of Rise O Destiny. Mm. Mirage Dragon, nice. like that card. Harpy's Hunting Ground, hella good. Raging Flame Sprite, Zing Zing Hu, and Ultimate Insect Level 3 Rare. 
Foxfire, not Firefox. Invasion of Flames. This card is normal summon successfully. No trap cards can be activated. Interesting. Malice Dispersion and Eagle Eye. I, it's so weird. I remember all these cards being played. Like, the, the, the card base was just so small, even up into Rise of Destiny, where, um... You could actually play just about anything and it'd still work. Now it'd be like insane to try and play some of these cards. All right, Pharaonic Guardian. Uh, really hoping to get a Lava Golem or uh, Ring of Destruction. That's honestly all I remember out of this set. <laughs> oh, Kabazals. Nice. The original card shuffle. Pay 300 of your own life and shuffle either you or your opponent's deck. You can use the Vec. Why? Why? That's so bad. It Claws, Scorpion, Swarm of Scarabs, New Doria. That's right, we got the rare New Doria. Banner of Courage, I played that card. Curse of Aging, discard one card from the hand, decrease the attack and defense of all monster opponents inside the field by five points at the end of this turn. Yomi Ship, this card's pretty busted, isn't it? When this card is sent to the graveyard as a result of battle, no, it's not. Cobra Man Sakuse, look at that, that's a classic. Put this card in face down defense position once per turn during main phase. When this card is flipped face up, look at all set magic and trap cards on your opponent's side of the field and then return them to their original position. Huh. That could almost work in sub terrors. <laughs> like, I searched so hard for a card that would work in sub terrors, and I finally found Mid Shield Gardener because the Warriors, too. At least you had a hand with reinforcing the army. Ah. <clears throat> All right, last pack for a guardian. Ooh, right of spirit. This is the gravekeeper monster reborn. Metamorphosis, original printing of that. Nice. Servant of C Catabolism. The monster it may this monster may attack your opponent directly. Nice. Seven hundred is pretty good. Disturbance strategy. Pyramid turtle in the house. Reasonable printing of reasoning in the house. Yes, he is smoking. It's one of the few artworks they do not. Master Kionche, like Hazenko from Dark Soccer's. Soul Eater, a living wonder of mystery. And Arsenal Bug, gross. So nasty. All right, World Championship Act 2010. Now I only get two cards. Don't know what they'll be. Come on, let it be some. Let it be some good. How often have you seen one of these open, huh? Oh, oh, oh. I know the rares in the front. Oh, I guess they're both rares. <laughs> Superconductor Tyranno, nice. And an obese marmot of nefariousness, nice. Obese marmot, I love it. An ill-mannered fiend varmint that will sink its teeth into anything. Sounds like a few guys I know, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of fat ass guys, let me tell you that right now. Either at the card shop, or at my workplace, or just wandering through McDonald's. Yeah, they're obese marmots of nefariousness. All right, Labyrinth of Nightmare. Going for that Mask Restrict. Probably my favorite card in this set, Mask Restrict. Ooh, it's a fierce lady. Haven't seen this card in a long time. Fusion Gate, nice. Shining Abyss. Mario Yukatai. An Infinite Card, classic. Actually has the exact anime effect. We should be shocked if it didn't. Crimson Sentry, Miracle Dig, Lightning Conger, and Dancing Fairy. Look how cute those are. Little Dancing Fairies. You are the Dancing Queen. That song sucks. I hear that on the radio. Like, There's one radio station out here in the Seattle area called 95.7 The Jet. And every half hour they play a, a Billy Joel song and an Elton John song. And every about two hours they play Dancing Queen by ABBA. I don't like Abba, man. It's rough. Magic ruler, not spell ruler. Uh, they had to change the spell ruler because Magic the Gathering was getting really upset. Shit in their pants over this whole thing. Like, you're confusing the players. They're thinking these are magic cards, but they're Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Like, come on, dude. Get real, Wizards of the Coast. Peacock. Wall Shadow. Cool. Stone Ogre Grotto. Gaia Power. Mother Grizzly. I'm surprised they haven't made a Mother Grizzly Link monster yet. It really seems like one it would be, like, like, you know, they had the, they're redoing all, like, the Hoshin again, uh, Starboy, uh, the last ones are coming out in Cybernetic Horizon, 
the dark and the light hyper hotion again, which I think they're calling hip hotion again, which I don't really understand. That sucks. He's got the best artwork of all the new retrained guys. And they got Wee Witches and Apprentice, which uh, I don't even like understand why they changed his artwork like that. Electric Snake, Minar, and Jigen Bakudan. Classic card right there. Pegasus used it. A Crimson Dragon. God. That spits fireballs create a blazing sea of fire. Look how many levels it has. It's a level 6 monster with 1700 attack. Crazy. You'd have to tribute a monster to get that fucker on the field. Um, what was I going to say, though? Oh, oh, uh, they should make Link monsters for, like, Mother Grizzly and Shiny Angel and Pyramid Turtle. I'd be down with that. Is there a machine one? Or are they, are they just, are they just, at, let me read Oh, no, it's just attribute. I don't know. I think they all do different things. Doesn't Pyramid Turtle, like, select zombie monsters? Or is it Earth monsters? I don't know. Oh, here's Lava Battle Guard. Sweet. Man, that's a good-looking monster. I always liked that as a kid. More... <laughs> this card in OCG is absolutely uh, ridiculed all the time because it's a 1550 attack monster you have to tribute summon. It was terrible. Terrible monster. Just terrible. I mean, horrible. Pumpkin King, the King of Ghosts. Crass Clown. Mooka Mooka. Oh, here's one of those weird ones. King of Yamamakai. Uh, he's one of the few monsters that does not end in 50 or double zero, 1530 defense. Uh, what's the level battle? Increase the attack of this card by 500 horns each face up Swamp Battle Guard on your side of the field. Okay. Uh, Leo Gun. This is a classic card, too. Huge monster with the lion's mane, similar to the King of Beasts. Ancient Elf. It's got good artwork. This elf is no rumored to have lived for a thousand years. He leads an army of spirits against his enemies. What? And, of course, a Kojaki. Or Kojaki. I think it's supposed to be Kojaki. Joey Wheeler made this. A man hunter with powerful arms that can crush boulders. See what I'm saying? Like, look at this. So Lava Battle Guard's got to be Tribute Summon 2, which is really dumb. He's only got 1550, but at least he's an effect monster. Kojiki has 50 less attack, and he can just be normal summoned. This card is so bad. Like, where's Leo Gun? 1750. I mean, that's at least 1750. I mean, it's terrible. It's so bad. It's just, this one's... This one's, Why would you ever run... Let me put these down. Here, let me put these all down. All these normal monsters, except these two. Why would you ever run Morphin in when you can get a King of Yamamaki when it has, for the same amount of tributes, same levels, level 5, you can tribute this, and it has 450 more attack and 230 more defense. It doesn't make any sense. Like, who would ever play this card? It's like, um... It's the same thing as Trihorn Dragon. Why? I mean, the only reason you play Trihorn Dragon is because it was cheaper than Blue Eyes White Dragon. Like, you always want to play the Blue Eyes White Dragon, not the Trihorn Dragon. You know, I mean, oops. Back in the day, it wasn't as easy to get cards, so that's why people play Dark Magician over Blue Eyes White Dragon, because Dark Magician cost about the same, but he was way worse than Blue Eyes White Dragon. Or speaking of Blue Eyes White Dragon, I got two packs of it. Here we go. Come on. Give me a foil. All these classic packs always let me down. Alright. Dark World Thorns. Red Medicine. Man. Oh, Karama. Terror the Terrible. Grave Digger Ghoul. Select two monsters from your home's graveyard. These monsters are removed from play for the remainder of the duel. Man, just the paper feels so different, you know, once you get to, like, Labyrinth of Nightmare, mainly. Eh, when they change the paper. Beaver Warrior, classic. I know some Beaver Warriors, you know what I'm saying? Fog King, King Fog. I always call him Fog King. Um, Electro Whip, that's nice. Silver Fang, really classic. Snow Wolf, that's beautiful the eye, but absolutely vicious in battle. Dark World Thorns. I wish they would retrain this as a Dark World monster. Even though it wouldn't match anything. What's it say? A thorny plant found in the Darklands that wraps us around any unwary traveler. This one, the game was so simple and pure. I remember playing it back then. It was just... Whoever summoned the biggest monster won, usually. I mean, they had outrageously powerful spells and traps. You know, I mean, just insanely powerful. 
Uh, here we go. Last and final pack of the video. <clears throat> Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Come on. Give me a foil. Trihorn Dragon. Ew, fire grass. Dark World Thorns again. Red Medicine. Karama. Spirit of the Harp. Could not get a full from the classic packs again. Silver Fang, Electro Whip, King Fog, and Beaver Warrior. Man, the whole pack was almost exactly the same. Yeah, the only difference was Fire Grass and Spirit of the Harp. What's Spirit of the Harp say? A spirit that soothes the soul with the music of its heavenly harp. Nice. That's not bad art. When you look at that art, that's look. I mean, that looks like a cool monster even today. Well, I forgot to read Grave Digger's Duel. Oh, I, I did read that one. What am I doing? You know, even though you don't get foils from them, it's so cool to open up old fucking packs. Like, you just don't get to. You know, I have a, I have the privilege of opening up uh, these old packs since I just hoard them and keep them. But, man, imagine if I pulled, like, an Exodia hat or something, you know. The, the, the whole room would explode in joy. So that's the only good cards I got. This is the only good one. I don't even know what it's worth anymore. I don't even care. But guys, I hope you really enjoyed the video. Like I said, it just means a lot to me to open up these old ass packs and entertain y'all for a little bit. And uh, life is good. Life's going real good for me. I'm really enjoying life right now. Hope you all are too. Hope everything's going real good for everybody. Um, uh, if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you really like what you saw and you want to keep on going here, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified immediately of all this sudden quality content, hit that bell icon. You know, for whom the bell tolls and let you know immediately that I may have uploaded another video about Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. And I can pull another Spirit of the Harp. Much to everyone's joy. A lot of people probably don't know that card didn't fucking exist anymore. Spirit of the Harp. I remember Spirit of the Harp. Yeah. Oh. Hang on, I, I dropped a card. Dropped Revendred Executor. Which, there's a Pokemon called Executor. That sucks ass. Well, I, yeah, actually, he was pretty good. He was actually a pretty good monster. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate every single view and comment I get. It just makes me giggle and laugh, and I read the comments, I see the thumbs up. It just makes me so happy. And, uh, guys, I've got more videos in store. There's a sneak peek coming up. There's a new set coming out. And I'm really excited. Really want this. And I will catch you all in a couple of days. Peace!